Tomorrow, what have you seen from your group? Uh, what, do, what do you like about them? I like just the, the attitude, their mindset to come to work every day. Uh, I think it's a talented group. Uh, but they have the right mindset, you know, approach and practice. They come out there ready to work, uh, ready to get after it. And uh, the expectations are high for this group this year, uh, and, and they take it the challenge on. Uh, and like I said, you can see that they're hungry, they're ready, man. And uh, like I said, they bring to me, they bring it every day in practice. And, uh, and I, I, that's what I like the most about them. You got Matt Jones, an older guy in the room. What have you seen from him in terms of, you know, does his experience help? Yeah. Or has the defense changed enough where maybe maybe that experience didn't come in the same day? I think it comes in handy just because, I mean, be, having the experience that he has, you know, he's able to pick up stuff real quick, even though the defense may have changed. I think those experience is helping because he's an ex consistent guy. And I think that's something that's lost, you know, with, with guys is, I mean, you can be good, you know, one practice and be off a practice, be off a practice or be on a practice, stuff like that. But Matt is very consistent. And you can tell when he's out there, the defense can flow because he can communicate. He can not only do his job, but communicate, you know, what's going on to other people that's out there with him. So I think that would make him like a, a really valuable player for us. How much does your job differ from what you maybe done in past year with Dave being so hands-on, especially with that linebacker group? Oh, it's a little different, but um, I, I love it just because, I mean, he's considered one of the, the, the brightest, you know, minds on the defensive side of the ball uh, and then the position that he coaches is, you know, inside linebacker. So that's one of the reasons I was, you know, drawn to the job was, you know, the opportunity to get the uh, – you know, not only, you know, work for him, but work with him, you know, and also learn from him. So I just, I just take it as, you know, uh, uh, you know, a blessing for me to be able to learn from him. And he gives me a lot of responsibilities to, uh, with that group. So I'm, I'm excited and everything's been going good so far. Has there been a moment where you've just been kind of watching him go through a drill or do something coaching-wise where you just were like, oh, his mind is like working on a different level than everything? Yeah, I mean, he 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 sees a, a lot of stuff that you kind of you probably don't see sometimes, and he's very thorough as far as like you know, with the rhyme fits and just making sure everything is exactly how it's supposed to be, you know. Uh, and that's good to have. That's good for me to uh, be a part of too. But that's one thing you notice, man. He, he crossing all his T's and dotting all his eyes and pretty much every defense that we're running. When they talked about him taking over that role, I think they talked about because his defense is so unique. Yeah, he, did. he almost needs to be so hands-on to run it. Um, is it something that you've had to learn as you've gone, and what's the uniqueness of, like, learning maybe a different defense than you're used to? Also, having to coach it yeah. to players. I think what makes it unique is, the, like, he, he's real big on the, the base stuff. It needs to be, like, you need to know what you're doing, and the guys need to know how to run, you know, base defense. I mean, a lot of teams are going to have a couple different, you know, base things that they do all the time. Uh, but he's very, you know, he wants you to know, like, this is our base. We got to be able to adjust it versus anything, no matter what the offense throws at him. And it's, and one thing that's good about you know this spring, I wasn't here you know last year, but the offense that we're going against now in practice presents a lot of challenges, you know, in practices for the defense to make adjustments on the fly, to get information in as quick as possible, and be able to operate, you know, at a, at a, at a, a tempo that probably not used to in the past. What's a guy like Keaton brought to the script? Obviously, another new guy here. Uh, what, how does he look early on? I oh, mean, he's he's look great. Uh, he he's he the mindset that he has, but he brings uh, every day, no matter it's a workout, you know, a walk through, a practice. Like it, it, I mean, he has the mindset of somebody that uh, you know, God's willing, they stay healthy. Man, he he'll go a long way just because the mindset that he brings. Now like, he's he he's in the meeting rooms, he's taking notes. Uh, like I said, he goes practice, he's full speed. Like he like a bull in a china shop. Like he is like a hundred miles uh, per hour all the time. Sometimes you got to slow him down, but you rather. You rather say, uh, whoa, you have to tell, man, you rather have to tell somebody, uh, whoa, than sick him, you know, so, uh, yeah, man, he, 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 he's going to be a great player. He just, you know, keep grinding, keep doing what he's doing. He's taking it day by day and, uh, having guys around him to be able to push him along the way, too. I mean, I think that's one thing that we got in the group is we got, uh, guys in the group that, uh, you know, they can push each other. And I think that's what makes, uh, a group better, man, when you got to, are you scared to miss a practice uh, uh, just because you know the guy behind you can play as well? So I think that's what we have right now. <coughs> you mentioned, sorry, you mentioned you know, Keaton and Matt. Are there other guys kind of stepping up so far this spring in that you know, lineup in that room? Yeah, I think, I mean, all of them have been practicing uh, very well. I mean, uh, uh, JJ's one that come to mind. Uh, he, he's been doing a great job out there. He actually does a great job leading the group. And that's what you want. Uh, you want them to play well while they're out there, but you also want them to take command of the defense while on the field. And I think he does a good job of that, uh, you know, Melo has been do doing a pretty good job. Uh, you know, Jay White, uh, just a lot of those guys, man. Uh, Jaden, uh, Kyle, the freshman, uh, you know, uh, they have been doing a great job, man. So like I said, we have a lot of competition in the room. 
Uh, and those guys, they come in there with the right mindset, you know, uh, to compete with each other as well. So, going a little bit outside of that room, but a guy I assume you're familiar with, uh, Kendrick Simpkins, also coming from. Western Kentucky to Baylor over the off season. Uh, what is unique about him? Because it seems like he almost played like kind of a hybrid role, not a, a guy who got so many sacks out of that safety position. Too. Uh, he, he's a known that brings like a physical aspect, you know, uh, to a defense. Of course, you know, when he's looking at his stats and stuff, you know he can blitz. But he's a guy I think that do do a lot of multiple things. Uh, and he's a he's a quick learner. Uh, he's got a lot of experience, and he can do a lot of different things. You know, some guys, you know, you probably can put like you know warm responsibility on him. He's a guy that can handle you know multiple things, and I think that's uh, something that you know we like as a defense staff. He can handle multiple positions, multiple multiple responsibilities. And when he goes out there, he's 100 miles per hour, a good tackler, and uh, yeah, he can he can uh, bring pressure on the quarterback as well. As a new coach to to Waco and the staff, has anything surprised you? Stood out like how was the you know first few official weeks on the job then? But it's been going good. Like I said, I didn't know really what to expect. I didn't know uh, too much about Baylor. Of course, when I was contacting, you know, I started doing my research. But uh, just, you know, how things are going. You know, the program is ran well. You know, uh, they get after it, man. And uh, after everything, you, you can tell that the mindset is on, like, making sure we improve this year. That's from the players, the coaches, pretty much anybody that's, you know, involved with the football program. The expectations are high for us this year, and and I'm not talking about uh, outside. I'm talking about for the football team itself, and you can see that in the way that uh, the coaches come to work every day, the players come to work every day. Uh, so that's that's exciting to have, you know, being a part of that. Coach, you worked with you mentioned today meeting with the brightest defensive minds. I've noticed you've worked with some pretty good coaches, an impressive list there. How much did they shape your career? Uh, yeah, I try to take some. Mike Leach in particular, but he's yeah, yeah. more on the offensive end. Yeah. yeah, Mike Leach, he's an interesting guy. I, mean, I love working with him. Uh, but there's a lot of them out there. You know, Andy Reid, Todd Bowles, uh, Mike Caldwell, uh, you know, Billy Napier, uh, those guys. I mean, uh, you know, I don't want to leave them by Sean McDermott, you know, Kroon. Sylvester Croon was, you know, my head coach at Mississippi State as well, Dan Mullen. So you try to take something from all those guys. There's always something you can learn, you know. So I try to, you know, pick all of them to those guys' brains. Still talk to all of them to this day, you know. Uh, so it was just good that you, you kind of look at it sometimes, you know, as a player. And I, you know, I had a lot of different coaches, you know, but I think in the long run it kind of helped me out, you know, to be able to learn a new defense, you know, kind of quick and uh, just picking up different things from those guys.